What's going on YouTube? I want to show y'all something real quick and uh, just so you know I don't condone any kind of drunk or intoxicated driving but in case you know you guys make a mistake like I did and uh, you got to get stuck with this smart start device and you get a violation because their equipment sucks like mine the screen stopped working for whatever reason and uh it gave me a violation and they tell me i gotta go pay fifty dollars to go get it reset and then they'll decide if they want to refund my money or not so i'm gonna show you an easy way to get around that uh, my way looks a little bit crude because i just did it in a hurry but i'm gonna show you that my device says violation lock here in a let it if you can see that it's got the two red lights right there which means obviously it's in violation lock I can't start the car it won't start so you can either call these people and get a violation unlock code or you can look online and find your starter relay switch which on my vehicle happens to be in the under hood fuse box which is right here Let me take that off you find which one is your starter relay which on mine this mustang is this one take that thing out of there it's easier to use pliers they don't come out too easily as you can see okay so you want to look on your relay and you're going to see an 87 right there And a 87A, which is this one, and this one, your flat one. So you look at how it goes in, right here. You see you got the flat, and then this one, it's sideways. And you just take, take a wire, any wire. You can get a, uh, you can get a push button if you want I'm just using a wire because I only have to have this thing for a couple more days that's why I'm not paying them their money they can go to hell because it's all a bunch of it's all a scam anyways you take you sit the wires in there just like that and you take and you can just shove your relay back in there If I can get mine to cooperate. You don't even have to put the relay in. I'm just putting it in just because I want it in there. Okay, now you see the relay is back in there. Two wires are like that. I'm gonna put the cover back on it. Get the stuff out of the way, shut the hood back. Okay. As you can see, it's still in violation lock with the two red lights. Okay. Still won't start. Turning the key won't start. So, I have these two wires right here that 
I'm going to show you. Put this thing up here so you can see it. That I'm not blowing into it at all. And then you just take these wires. Like I said, this is crude, so you probably just want to put a uh, a start a button on yours. Touch these together. Car's running. Didn't blow into the vise. Still in violation lock. Car is running. As you can see, you can still drive it. Put it in reverse. Car is moving. And the device still didn't blow into the device, do nothing to it. Now you can do this whether you want to blow into it or you're in violation lock or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but this whole thing is a scam. So if you guys don't want to pay the money for it, like I said, I don't condone drunk driving or intoxicated driving of any kind, but if you're somebody like me who made a mistake and these people are just draining you of money and you want to find a way to get to work without having to pay these people an ungodly amount of money and you want to take the risk, you know, that's on you. Right now I'm taking the risk. I got about two weeks of this thing left, so I'm just going to take the risk because I got a wife and two kids and I need all the money I can get right now. See y'all later.